Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. I was recently in New York at the YouTube Creator Summit, and I had a couple of extra hours at the YouTube space there at Chelsea Market before my flight. I love art, so I was walking around, checking out all the vendors and stuff like that, and then I got word that there was a really cool art museum just a block away. Hey, it's me, Destin. I'm in New York at the Whitney. It's an art museum. I love art museums, especially ones that start like this. Let's go look at it. One of my favorite things about art museums are the traveling exhibits, and I totally scored this time because Grant Wood's American Gothic was here. Now, I saw this several years ago with my wife Tara in Chicago, but we totally didn't get it. We thought that the people in the painting were a husband and wife, but it's actually Grant Wood's sister and his dentist, and it's supposed to be a farmer and his daughter, but we totally didn't know that. But now I have a better appreciation for the piece. Do people do that all day long? Always. Do they really? <laughs> Does it get old? No. The cool thing about this particular exhibit is that it showed all of Grant's work throughout his entire life from private collections. In the 20s, you could see that he was heavily influenced by his visits to Europe. You can see the Impressionist style. But then later on, you can see where he started to be influenced by Jan van Eyck. That's when he sees these really sharp, contrasty, bold colors in his paintings. From that moment on, he develops his own style, and you can see that throughout the rest of his work in his career. This is the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, and it's interesting because it was painted from the perspective of a drone before there were drones. It's a neat perspective. This is Edgerton. I can say without a doubt that this was the most influential photo in my entire life. Um, I saw this photo on the cover of a physics book when I was in ninth grade, and I said, you know, I don't know what this is, but I know that it involves physics, and it involves some type of art and photography. Oh, I've got painted fingernails, by the way. <laughs> so I think this is fascinating. And um, this is what made me want to get into high-speed photography. So I did, specifically high-speed video. This is a big deal. It's a big room for me. Look, I know this is like just photos at a museum, but I don't think you understand how big of a deal Edgerton is in my life. When I defended my master's thesis, my advisor gave me this book. It's Edgerton's Electronic Flash Strobe. I've read this thing cover to cover. The cool thing about this particular copy that Dr. Frederick gave me, it's signed by Edgerton in 1981, the year I was born. It's fascinating. The reason I love Edgerton is he did incredible things with old technology. Like he used film cameras to take these photos. It's amazing. In my early YouTube days, I tried to take photos of bullets hitting stuff. Long story short, I just realized I have modern equipment and I've never recreated some of these Edgerton shots. Now, we're going to uh, do an experiment here to take a picture of a bullet, a very high velocity bullet, as it cuts this playing card in two. The playing card will be attached to this tape. The bullet will come out of the gun at 2,800 feet per second. If we aim it correctly, it'll cut through the card. So it was Edgerton's card shot that made me think about uh, high-speed video in general, but I've never done it. So this is my grandfather's 30 alt 6 This means a lot to me. There's a cracked stock, so I'm a little worried about that. Uh, there's a Phantom V2511. The reason this is important is because we can get a microsecond exposure time on it. And then, the playing card. The King of Diamonds is the shot that uh, meant the most to me, but we'll start with the King of Clubs just to make sure we can figure it out. All right, we got a mirror bouncing some light up there. Okay, that was a uh, 1.4 microsecond exposure. We're gonna go down to one microsecond exposure and uh, try to make the bullet, I guess we can try to make the bullet go on the front side of the card. We'll see.
Okay, so art speaks to people in different ways. When I saw the Edgerton print of the bullet hitting the card, I realized that that was the piece of art that inspired me to do high-speed photography, right? But when I went and looked at the exhibit by Grant Wood, in the beginning, he was heavily influenced by his travels in Europe, and he was trying to paint like them. But gradually, he found his own style, and he made it his. In my early days, I saw what Edgerton did, and I tried to replicate it to a T. Like, I shot bullets at glass. I, I did all kinds of stuff. Uh, I eventually morphed into something different, and that's how I express myself creatively on YouTube. And in fact, I realized that I was a, a copycat in the beginning because I didn't have original ideas and things like that. And it wasn't until I just matured a little bit maybe or got a little more confident to try things for me instead of to try to replicate people I admire. I think we all do this. And the art museum just spoke to me in a really deep way. So anyway, that's weird I know. It's a weird video, but who influences you, right? Are you, where are you at in the process? Are you still trying to imitate others that you admire? Or have you creatively, whether it be art, technical things, uh, things you enjoy, are you to the point where you're doing it for you? I don't know, that's cool. I told you I was gonna show you the Queen of Hearts shot. This is amazing. Here we go, let's do it. Okay, one of the added bonuses, because we're backlit with the sun, you can see the shock wave in the form of a shadow graph on the card before it got cut in half. To recap what we've done, we had a naked statue upside down suspended from the ceiling. Somehow that led to art, which led to photography, which led to ballistics, which led to high-speed cameras, which led to me asking you if you wouldn't mind subscribing to Smarter Every Day by clicking a button and maybe the little bell next to the button to be notified when I upload. Anyway, this is what Smarter Every Day is. I hope you enjoy it. If not, no big deal. I am Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Oh yeah, but it's so cool because YouTube like, I walked from YouTube, which is where I'm doing stuff creatively, and found my roots. I don't know, whatever. Bye.